Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. And so today is a, a gentle seated sequence where we're going to really focus on the wrists and the shoulders and even like the fingers, just articulating through the fingers and getting a bit of release through that upper body area. So if you've got a block, please have your block handy. We're gonna start seated on the block. Uh, if you don't, you could sit on a cushion or if this position with the Japanese seated position is not comfortable for you, you could just come into a cross-legged. Um, okay, so when you're ready, make sure you're nice and comfortable and let's make a start. So I've just got my block flat down, sitting down there, feet are pointing backwards. <clears throat> you could even have two blocks if that's better for you. And rest the hands down onto the thighs when you're ready, closing down the eyes. Just noticing your seat, just grounding down into the sitting bones and starting to lift up and away from your hips, the spine's growing a little bit longer. And just for a moment, just listening in, just noticing any sounds that are in the room or outside the room. Maybe the sound of your breath. And then noticing what's the temperature of the room. And any sensation in the body and clothing against the skin. And then coming back to your breathing, just following the breath in and out through the nose. And let's recall our sankalpa intention. Remembering to think of your sankalpa in the present tense. Each time we revisit our intention it's like watering the seeds in a garden. So even as we veer away from our intention, like forgetting and then remembering again, forgetting and remembering, each time we come back to it, we make it stronger. You're repeating your sankalpa three times to yourself. And then when you're ready, let's blink open the eyes. And we're going to start by interlacing the fingers and just making a figure eight with the hands here. Just trying to loosen it up as much as you can. If you can, going a little bit faster here. Staying connected to the breathing. And then let's just slow that down and release. 
Take the arms forward and then turn the backs of the hands towards one another. We're going to start to articulate through the fingers and turn them at the same time. So thinking about the pinky finger, fourth finger, middle finger, index finger and thumbs, turning the thumbs down and then going again. So rotating out through the fingers and at the same time we're going to start to bring the arms up. So we're just trying to contact each finger as much as we can and it might feel like you don't, you can't arti articulate for each finger at the moment and that's completely fine. Just whatever you feel right now is fine. All the way up to the top, lengthening up through both sides of the waist. One more time at the top and then let's interlace the fingers, take an inhale and then exhale, press the palms, the hands up towards the ceiling. So we're turning the thumb side of the hands up towards the ceiling, holding it here, and then let those lower ribs just drop in as the back ribs climb up. So lengthening up through both sides of the waist. And either, if this is too strong for you, you could just release those arms slightly forward of the face as well. Just taking a couple of breaths here. Just taking one more inhale, lengthen up. And then as you exhale, take a twist to the right, letting the eyes go a little bit further. Stay grounding down through both, both sitting bones. Just one more inhale. So just stay for the exhale, see if there's any more space. And then inhale to come back to centre. Exhale to release the hands back behind you. Interlace the fingers and try to have the right thumb on top of the left and then extend those arms back down. Maybe the heels, the hands coming together, sternum lifts, lift the eyes, maybe letting the head release back. Inhale and then exhale, coming forward, bringing the palms of the hands down, fingers pointing back and then C curve through the spine, tucking the chin in, draw the navel in and then sitting the hips back down. Let's do that one more time. Backs of the hands towards one another and then articulating through each finger as you lift the arms slowly up above the head. Staying connected to your breathing. Just last one up there and then interlace the fingers. Inhale and then exhale to press the palms, the hands up towards the ceiling. Trying to turn the thumb side of the hands up towards the ceiling. Drop the base of uh, the shoulders away from the ears and lower ribs drawing in. Easy breathing. Taking one more inhale, lengthen up and then as you exhale, twisting to the left, keeping both hips grounding down. Eyes might go a little bit further. One more inhale, staying for the exhale, see if there's any more space. And then inhale, coming back to centre, releasing those arms back behind you. Interlace the hands behind the back. This time try to have the left thumb on top of the right. Reach the hands down, lift the sternum, lift the chest, dropping back the head. Inhale and then exhale, recover bringing the hands down in front of you, lifting off that block, fingers pointing back and then C curving through the spine and then sitting the hips back down. Coming off your block now if you were on one <clears throat> and then opening the feet out into your wide-legged child's pose. It doesn't have to be too wide here, just sitting back onto the heels for a moment. And shifting the weight forward, <clears throat> we're going to place the back of the right hand down onto the mat and then make a fist with the left hand and we're just popping that into the palm of that right hand. And then from here, we're going to take a swivel with this right arm just a few times, just feeling into that range of motion. Just keeping the breathing nice and easy no forcing, just gently rotating. And then let's release that. Shift forward onto your hands and knees into your tabletop position here, spreading through the fingers, press down through the knuckles of the hands, and then take some little circles over the wrists. 
clear, shifting the weight side, forward, side and back. Just feeling into the way the weight shifts around here and then sh uh, changing the direction of the circle. And then coming to centre. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the hips exactly where they are and then just bring the forearms down, elbows pointing back towards the knees and then pressing back up. And then again, forearms down, elbows pointing back and coming up. Once again, forearms tap down and then up. Let's do two more like that. Forearms down and up. And one more, forearms down and then up. Reach that right arm up towards the ceiling, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring it down, bring the back of the right hand down, fingers pointing away, and then allow that arm to thread all the way out, eyes looking towards that right hand, allowing that right shoulder to drop down towards the mat. Holding it here for a couple of breaths. And then let's take an inhale, come up, flex that right hand and reach it forward towards the top of the mat, fingers pointing up, let that left arm relax, forehead rests down. And then coming back up onto all fours, big toes together, sitting back into that child's pose position once again. And then let's take the back of the left hand down, fist with that right hand into the palm of that left hand. And then once again, we're just taking these mobilizations here through that forearm and shoulder and wrist. Just keeping your breathing nice and easy. This last two last one and then releasing that come into your tabletop position once again spreading into the fingers press down through the knuckles and then just a few this time let's take some more circles here in one direction and then changing the direction And then coming back to stillness in the center, take an inhale and as you exhale, forearms down, elbows pointing back, hips stay over the knees so rather than shifting the, the weight back. So you wanna just get those forearms down, try to keep the elbows pointing straight back and then go three, two and one. And then let's take this left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, back of the left hand down, thread it out to the side, trying to drop that left shoulder down towards the mat, looking towards that left hand. Let's find the breath. And then let's come back up, inhale. As you exhale, flex that left hand towards the top of the mat, fingers up towards the ceiling, drawing the hips back as you reach that, the heel of the left hand forward. And then bring that left hand back underneath the shoulder. Let's bring the knees together and just sit back towards the heels. If you can, knees can be wide if they need to be. And then let's just let the arms come down by your side, forehead down, letting the shoulder girdle relax down. Just taking a few breaths here in your child's pose. Allowing the hips to be heavy. And 
And then let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, coming up to a seated position, sitting over to one side, and then we're going to come into a comfortable cross-legged position. And start with the right leg in front. <clears throat> and back of the right hand is going to come to the side of that right waist. And then taking the left, left hand, we're going to try to bring this right elbow towards the midline of the body. But just be really mindful, we're not doing any, uh, you know, no harsh pulling, just gently trying to draw it in. Keep both shoulders pointing towards the front, lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Just opening up through that outer uh, right shoulder. Just two more full breaths here. And then gently release that. Take the arms back behind you and either holding on to your wrists, forearms, elbows, or if you can, take the hands behind you into your reverse prayer. So just like your prayer in front, just behind the back. I'll just turn around so you can have a quick little look here. We're trying to seal the palms, the hands together, especially this outer edge, the thumb side of the hands together. If that's not available, just take one of the other variations, absolutely fine. Just soften those lower ribs in as you seal the palms, the hands together. Find the breath. If it feels good to close the eyes here, you could close the eyes. And then let's gently release the hands out. Just give the hands a few circles out here just to release those wrists. Take an inhale to lengthen up and then exhale, walking your hands forward just to where you can. You could relax the arms or be active, your choice. And then let's walk the hands back up. Swapping the legs around, let's bring the left leg in front and then taking the back of the left hand, popping on the side of the waist, using your right hand to try to bring it, bring that left elbow towards the midline of the body. It's finding your breath. Noticing if there's any space that starts to open up. And sometimes that space is physical and sometimes the space is something else. Maybe it's the breath, maybe just space from the thinking mind. Whatever it is, we're just listening in. Just one more breath here. And then gently releasing that. And one more time, we're going to take that reverse prayer position. So either taking one of the variations or if you can, trying to bring the palms and hands together. And you might better bring those hands a little bit higher up the back. Draw those lower ribs in as you try to press the palms and hands together. Maybe closing down the eyes. Just noticing if you're starting to grip into other parts of the body that don't need to be active. Maybe the hips, maybe the face, the neck, the shoulders. Soft, easy breathing. And then 
Opening up the eyes, releasing out those arms. Just giving the hands and the wrists a little circle out just to release that. Just making your way down onto your back. Just please make sure that you're warm enough, you're comfortable. Just extending the legs out long. And just for a moment, let's take those arms up, hook the thumbs, reaching out through the fingertips, soften the lower ribs in. Press through the inner edges of the feet. Taking a really big inhale here. And then as you exhale, let's let everything soften. Open the feet out wide, arms away from the sides of the body, palms facing up, closing the eyes. Just allowing the whole body to soften. Noticing any residual sensation from the practice or from taking this new position. The sensation in the body might be experienced as tingling or temperature, pulsing. Might be more of that, just feeling the breath in and out, the rise and fall of the belly or the chest. Just starting to just completely let go. allowing the whole body to surrender into the mat and the ground underneath you. Just resting here for the next few minutes. Please feel free to stay resting here. And if you're ready, you can come with me. Just, can, just start to deepen into your breathing here, taking a deep breath in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. So once again, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just continue breathing in and out through the nose, bringing a little bit of movement into the fingers and into the toes, bending the knees up. Just rolling over to one side and in your own time, just making your way up to a seated position 
So resting the hands down onto the thighs or the knees. Just allowing the eyes to stay closed. Noticing the quality of your attention, the quality of your breathing. And just your attitude towards yourself and to this very moment. And bringing the palms and hands together into your prayer in front of the chest. And just bowing the head down towards your hands and acknowledging your effort to show up for yourself today, coming to the mat and coming on this journey with me. It's such a pleasure to lead you through this, these practices. Thank you so much. Namaste.